I am at the Finders Keepers Bender Mall in Madisonville, Kentucky. I am on a mission. I have a customer, well, I had two customers order the same item for me. So I'm seeing whether I can find a second one for the other customer. They both want a light blue, azure blue Fenton cat shoe in hobnail. Not the hardest thing to find, but can I find it locally on short notice? I don't know. So I'm just looking in the places that I know have antiques and vintage. I am on the hunt for a particular thing. There's other stuff here that's cool. I don't know how much I'm going to get to show you. It's going to depend. If I find that piece, I'm going home. <laughs> Old bear aspirin. That's interesting. Little counter here for 35. That's a little too beaten up for me. I'm looking for some furniture also. I could use some things that I might be able to sell that also could be shelving for me in my antique mall here in Kentucky. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop looking at other things that I think might be useful. These mid-century bar stools are pretty cool. Let's take a few things to see if moments to see if we can figure out their age. These caps feel like plastic, which is a little bit later in time. And they have plastic little feet, so this is going to be newer. Even though these look like an Italian design, I think they are going to be too recent for me to buy for resale. Nice swung base here, and I guess I have to pick this up while I'm here because this is Murano. It's bright orange, and it is $9.99, which is a great price. So, well, I'm buying something. It's not what I came for, but, you know, that's bound to happen. When you're looking for one thing, you find other things. This number 10 croc is a McCoy Sanitary. It says Sanitary Stoneware. The idea behind calling things sanitary in the early 1900s is that people was, were figuring out that microbes and stuff were behind some of the illnesses that they were facing. So they were looking for things that were sanitary. And of course, a lot of those companies that made ceramics started out making sewer pipe and other things for sanitation. $15 on the crackle glass, crackle glass base. I know where the glass dealer is in here, but I'm just looking at the other places just to be sure because these folks who carry kitchenware sometimes get the sort of thing I'm looking for as well. I'm not going to find it in videos or military surplus or games. Well, that's certainly a good price there for this huge mirror for $12. Is that possible? Looks like it could use a little bit of regilding, but it's not bad overall. That seems like an impossibly cheap price. I just got a big huge mirror, but this is old. I have to say I'm pretty tempted by this. It is missing a little silvering, so I'll give that a moment's thought. Here's one of the first places I think will be worth looking. They sometimes have pieces like what I'm seeking. I see they have some of these green purple stems. Purple is this pattern that twists and has the bubbles in it. If it has just bubbles, then it's called bubble or provincial. And if it's got a strange combination of the two, then it's called boopy. All those were made by Anchor Hawking. This, on the other hand, is iris and herringbone from the 1930s. Kind of a neat little muffineer and creamer here. Noritake, Redmark, so that was the considered the better of the two factories that Noritake was running at the time. This is 1930s and they've got only $12 on that set now. It is kind of worn up here. Somebody washed it a little too vigorously or used Windex or something they shouldn't have. I see lots of stuff that's vintage but nothing that is what I'm looking for. So we're going to go on to the next space and these are brand new from TJ Maxx. So let's keep going. Someone's repainted the utility cart, but I do like the bright yellow. However, $40 with the repaint is probably a little too much for me. Okay, here's one of the dealers who oftentimes has the Fenton pieces I'm looking for. And shoot, yes, they do, but they do not have anything in blue. A lot of people have been asking about these because I did an Instagram post where I showed the difference between the Fenton and the non-Fenton. Let's see if I can show you here. So see how this is polished on the bottom? It doesn't show any seams. It doesn't show a lot of riffling or texture. This one's going to be a Fenton piece. Whereas this one, not fire polished, a little rougher. And this one particularly shows. See how uneven that is compared to the first one I showed you? And it's got a very uneven texture. This is likely made in Taiwan as a knockoff in the 1980s. Sadly, we don't have the color I need for my client, so we're going to keep looking. 
bunch of Wagner ware here, and this is all priced pretty well. The skillet with the lid is $33. These pans are in the 18 to 24 range. Those are fair prices for Wagner ware. Wagner was made in Sydney, Ohio, and you will see this nice mark on the back of it. They went out of business, I believe, in the 1990s. A bunch of cute little sherbet stems that are the happy depression glass with the uranium salt, so they will glow under a black light. The one in the middle is the same era, this console bowl, but it is a mint color, probably by Payton City, and it will not glow under a black light. That's a great opportunity to see the difference. Everybody's old vinyl collections are coming out of the closet and coming back into circulation, and so a new generation are starting to really get into the vinyl. Well, shoot, this was my other best hope, but it looks to me like these folks may be winding down because they do not have any fresh merchandise and the space looks pretty bare. There is a bunch of Fostoria American, including some neat pieces. I like the tray with the handles turned up, the open handles. I always thought that was a nice looking piece, $20 on that. Little nappy here, $6. Nappy comes from a European word, I believe knapp, which was a rimless bowl. Nowadays, we refer to them as bowls with one handle. That's what a nappy is in today's antiquing world. Yes, indeed. Unfortunately, my glass dealer here, who I was counting on to have my piece, is really understocked. They may have been busy at the end of summer, or they may just be depleted. They do have this neat green pitcher with the green glasses here. Now, the glasses are anchor hawking. I am not so sure about this pitcher. I haven't seen this piece before. It is older. It's well made. I'm sure it's a perfectly good price. I mean, it could be used as a carafe. I just don't really know a lot about that piece. Cute little toll painted table. This one was painted later in time. You can tell by the, well, here's the easiest way to tell actually. It has 1984, 86 actually, in the signature. These bowls with the nuts painted in the bottom of them for serving nuts were made in Japan. That is a rather obscure mark there. Noritake did some of these, but theirs actually have the nuts raised in relief and then painted. This serving tray is part of the Lotus line, or one of the leaf lines, that Metlocks made. There's your Metlocks mark there. Original California pottery by Metlocks, made in the USA. It's only $8.50. That's actually a very good price for what it is. That might go with me too. Now this is a new dealer and there are a mix of newer and older things, but I see some older things I really like. So I am going to spend just a moment in this space. Native American stand. That is a whole lot of stuff going on, but it is as is. The shade on this lamp is incredible. It's a 50s fiberglass shade. The base is brand new floor lamp. So let's see what the price is because the shade might be worth it for the buy. Fiber shade goes with lamp. Okay, well it doesn't really, but that's all right. But what's the price of the lamp? $99. Yeah. Unfortunate. They really don't belong together. And they don't really look right together. But together they shall stay, I suppose. Some briar horses here. I like this one with the saddle. I don't see that very often. It's $14.99. This spinach dresser, which someone has made an attempt to paint out, still needs some love and some help. It is $75. The lamp with the orange plastic pieces that screw together, it looks like glass, but this is plastic here. Out of the 60s, $17.99. And the treasure craft canisters, the set of three is $24.99. The boot is also treasure craft. That's the cowboy boot cookie jar. I want to go back to these for a minute to show you. See this white? This is what happens if the pieces are not cared for properly or if they are were made at a time of great humidity. Fortunately, most of this was made in California, but the Hawaiian branch had trouble with humidity and it causes what they call efflorescence where moisture gets trapped under the glaze and then eventually comes through and expresses itself as white. Cute little mushroom tile here. The mark on this makes me unclear as to whether it's vintage or new, so I'm not going to take a chance on that. Treasure Craft Boot is $24.99. That's a pretty good price for that, actually. I remember when they were discontinued at the outlet store in the early 90s, they were actually selling for more than that at 40% off. Amongst the cutlery, which is cool, and they know what they've got. They've got case knives priced in the $40 and $50 range. The older ones, the Bacher USA in the middle is $15. The German Bacher is 
35, a little more than the USA one, an old case for 32, but these little foldouts that are money clips at four and five dollars a piece are a pretty good deal. And I may pick one of those up. French art piece down here at $40, seems priced about right. Still cannot get Barb at Winking Owl Antiques to get excited about the blue ribbon geese, but here's a churn that somebody made strictly for decoration back in the 1980s, $32.95. A little bit of glass in here, we're going to take a look and see if we can find what we're looking for. This is Moon and Stars with the Heritage pattern by Smith. Ellie Smith, of course, did Moon and Stars, and Heritage was their official name for that line. $27.95 on the basket is about right for retail. This is an old pattern glass piece, and this is going to be from the Spanish-American War. You can see the militaristic motifs on it as well as a picture of what I believe is Admiral Dewey. Yes, that's right. There is the flagship Olympia from the Great White Fleet. This is priced at $34.95, which is perfectly fair price these days for this piece. That used to be these would have sold for a lot more. There are war buffs who buy this sort of thing. It's not strictly for glass collectors. I would love to find another one of these that lit to put in my space. It's an old stoplight. It is $70. This is actually a pretty good price for these. However, this is a pretty recent one because it's all plastic. I'm looking for the older ones that are metal. Well, I've got one more place to look. In fact, it's a new place that I've never been before that is here in our town. I'd heard about it. I just discovered where it was located. And so I'm going to go there and see if they might have what we need.